Hello and welcome to the Circle of Stone and Shadow. To the mission Switching Rails. Uh, Thief to Fan Mission by Anarchic Fox and uh, several other members of the Circle of Stone and Shadow team. This is a unfinished mission. It's been released uh, in this rough state many years after uh, it was abandoned. Um, just released today. So I'm going to check it out and see what it's like. It may not be completable, I don't know. It's probably buggy because it's unfinished. Probably visually unfinished in places. So this is more like uh, seeing bits of what could have been had the COSOS project actually uh, achieved more of its original goals. Uh, this isn't, doesn't do anything, does it? As uh, looks like the stock thief thing. All hints, some hints, no hints. And now I have to say I haven't played uh, any of the uh, Cosas missions. I think there's two that got released. Uh, gathering at the bar and Mission X, I believe. I guess I should remedy that sometime soon. So I don't really know what this hints stuff is about. So let's go with no hints. Let's try expert mode, shall we? No hints, find out what has happened, okay? <laughs> Alright. What was that about? Is this him? Is this the guy who almost killed Ricard and Steve? Calm down. What's this all about? Your prisoner seriously wounded two officers, my friends, as they tried to arrest him. I'm here to teach him a lesson. I said calm down. You know the rules. I can't let you into this cell. Like hell you can't. Where's the key? It doesn't matter. No one is getting in or out of that cell right now. I suggest you get back to your duty before I have to report you to the sheriff. We'll see. I'll be back. Bye. What was that about? Just a vengeful jerk who can't wait to start on our new prisoner. Is he still asleep? Yes. After two gas arrows, he should be out for quite a while. That's good, too. I want some peace and quiet, especially after all the noise and explosions upstairs. Right. I'll leave you be then. Thanks. I've been captured, that means my ship and my equipment may already be forfeit. But I must go on. I must get out of this cell. Must go on, I must get out of this cell. Okay, what's this last note? I'm in this cell with only my wits and some garbage. Noise is likely to provoke this guard, perhaps to my advantage. That has to be enough for me to make my escape. Some of this garbage may prove useful. I must escape from my captors, and my equipment is vital to my mission. I must find it. And optionally, I should find myself a map with which to orient myself. Uh, city's police force. My investigations had led me to believe that the city's police force was nothing more than a pretense. Their aggressiveness has come as quite a surprise. Regardless, they appear very militant and formidable as a group, though there is the possibility of incompetency when it comes to individual officers. They have seriously compromised my mission, and for that I owe them a great death of pain. This, however, must wait. My only priority right now is to escape and put as much distance between me and their sentries as possible. My keys. I have a picture of keys, but no actual keys. Right, uh, what do I have on me? No equipment whatsoever, just that note and my compass. All right, I'll keep it down. Uh, bread, thank you. Spoon. Bowl. Wonder, could I? Hmm. I'm an 
expert. I can use a wooden spoon to pick these terrible cells. Uh, I'm keeping it down. I wonder if I can distract him. Wait, there's other footsteps. Well, that's convenient, isn't it? didn't work as a distraction. Maybe I'll run for it? Let's run for it. Never do a thing to look for me in another cell, right? Who escapes from one cell into another? Well, still hunting for me. I want to get rid of that sign, but. Not while he's there, you'll see me walking out into the hallway. If I move into the patch of light. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Well, he seems to have uh, given up the hunt, I think. What? Uh, what? Ow. I mean, yeah, as soon as you find me, I'm dead, but you're not supposed to be able to find me. Uh, like, why did you just walk right into that cell? Oh no. Yeah, I'm afraid I am. Temporary power outage, please excuse the inconvenience. Pulled open. Dang it, everyone's after me. Oh, he saw me. Oh, I recognize this place. Yeah? Come on, run away, tell your friends. No? Ugh. Well. What does that say? Same notice. Dang it, are we back in there? Uh... No, no, no. Uh... Alright, well, I guess we're going to have to try that again. Jerky can't wait to start on our new prisoner. He's still asleep. Yes, after two gas arrows, he should be out. I can't pick those up. Oops, I didn't mean to close that. Dang. Okay, you 
Yeah, I probably did. I escaped. Don't worry, I'll find you. Why am I worried about that? You found me before and it didn't go so well for me. It sounds like he's calmed down and going away. This uh, new light meter, the light gem they've got here is really uh, doing my head in. I'm used to seeing the whole light gem dim down, and right now it's bright green, which is like the your quite visible brightness of the stock one, so it's, it's really making me feel like I'm highly visible everywhere, even though I'm not. Well, this is the uh, same old police station from Frames, but it seems to be somewhat earlier, I guess. Why the alarm at their Plymouth jail break? No, I think it's a break in. A break in? That's Plymouth. Well, Shane thought he saw someone in the courtyard. He could have gone in through the hole in the wall. There's a hole in the wall. Yeah, some of the guys were trying out the equipment we got from the new prisoner. They set a cannon up with what looked like gunpowder and shot at the practice dump. We wanted to compare it to the stuff the mechanists use. The shot went through the dump and both walls too. Of all the stupid. We've already patched it up, sort of. Does Blue Ward know? Not yet. He's at the warehouse tonight. All right. We better get back on patrol. Yes, you get back on patrol, guys. So they were playing around with my equipment and blew a hole in the wall. It's good to know. Obviously, all the voice work is uh, placeholder. And uh, speaking of things that are placeholder, there's a key floating in midair. I guess it was supposed to be attached to somebody's belt, but isn't. Well, I got a key. What's that last note tell me? Policeman's key. Right. It says a key ring. I do still have my spoon, okay. What's happening here? Mechanists have requested that no police officer enter this area until the new security system is fully installed. Alright, so this is a little before the Thief 2 timeline, I guess. That's the policeman's key up in this. So is the lineup. Does. Go here. In order to decrease the risk of fire hazard, keep water crystals handy near explosive materials. The water of one crystal can be enough to render a large amount of gunpowder inert and conflagration prone areas. It is also advisable to keep water crystals in easily accessible areas and in the possession of archers or others in a position to quickly douse a fire. If your supplies are running low, remember that natural crystals are often generated in cool, slowly moving water. Oh, I can pick up powder cakes. I bet I could have some fun with that. Oh yes. Oh, they got some searchlights. Ah, uh, hole in the wall, huh? 
Is he searching for something? He is, he's, he looks like he's hunting. Both of them are. Did they hear the uh, ruckus down below, or are they just reacting to all the uh, ruckus they had up here with the cannon and whatnot? I don't know, it looks like an interesting place to go, but uh, before I head any further, I want to try going down. Back downstairs if I can safely. Laboratory. Because maybe something of use here. And thus the traces of ash and sulfur were found on the scene provide conclusive evidence that the mechanist turret was responsible for the death. Foreigner brought into prison approximately 16 hours ago. Several unknown devices and tools were found on his person. Several more on the deck of a ship in his possession. The patrolman on duty refused to search further after a cursory look below decks. We'll have to ask about that. The items found are as follows. One sword of unusual design. Six broadheads, unknown shaft material. Eight arrows, unknown heads. One sphere-shaped object, glass and stone. One flash bomb like device. Three potion vials, unknown contents. This order has been given thorough examination. It appears to be normal, although oddly designed. The arrows are likely to be dangerous and will be examined under controlled circumstances. Their appearances are as follows. Three possess arrowheads made of a hard black substance. It isn't any crystal I'm familiar with. The shaft and fletching appear normal. One has a reddish crystal mounted with metal shaft and unknown fletching. Coloration similar to fire crystals, but it gives off no heat. Two have green arrowheads, surfaces woven with some kind of thread. Regular shaft and fletching. Last two have what appear to be water crystals. The grenade-like device looks like a fl regular flash bomb, but without the usual triggers or air intakes. After being carefully opened, it was found to contain a fine powder. It isn't flash powder, since it does not react with air. It's probably some type of gunpowder. The men want to try it out in a cannon. I guess that counts as an experiment. I need to catch some rats, and I might as well get a drink while I'm out. Upon return, I found that the black and red crystals had undergone non-reactive decomposition, leaving behind only the shafts. Probably they needed some special type of storage. The green arrowheads seem to have sprouted, and a moss-like substance is currently growing from them. Maybe a variant of moss crystal? I'm sending the remaining arrows across town right away. We don't have the facilities for this type of strangeness. Also, the cannon test confirmed my gunpowder hypothesis. I'll have to think of an excuse, too. Have three rats from the basement for testing. File 1. Rat dies. File 2. Rat dies. File 3. Rat displays extreme hyperactivity, then dies. One was a speed potion, then. I'll say the others were poison. The remaining device is an irregular polyhedron with a large piece of glass as one facet. The rest is stone with embedded pieces of glass of wood and wood. There are what appear to be three buttons. Pushing the one furthest left has an interest. So it's true. My equipment is gone, and I can easily guess whose agents have done it. I cannot wait any longer to break into the circle. Somebody else has taken my possessions. I must find the thief and retrieve them. Uh, optional, I should kill no one unless the police hunt me more fiercely. Optional, if I can go unseen by the police, I will face less resistance at the circle walls. Once I've hunted down this thief, I shall begin my infiltration of the circle. I guess that's the circle of stone and shadow that uh, I might know more about if I had played the... Oh, hello. Fire crystal. Nice. I might know more about if I had played the earlier missions already. I mean, nothing seems to be nothing else in the lab here. I'd say there's a secret door there, you know? Seems seems possible. Morgue. Now wasn't there a guy in here before? Last time I came here there was. Yeah, well I don't want that. Didn't he have a Moss Crystal? Oh no, I that was I already got it. It's not from the time that I died. Oh, nice bit of metal. Close that in case it's suspicious. Quiet. So where 
is this? this? People have been digging? Burying zombie parts. Ah, uh, body parts. This is the torture chamber. Is it giving me people walking up above me? Up there, up the ladder, I suppose. Wait, what's oh, through here? Okay. Right, so that brings us right round. Okay, yeah, I know this torture chamber. You don't actually get to come in here in Thief 2, so it's nice to see uh, they've changed this place around a little to, to make it seem both new and familiar at the same time. Is this, is this a desk? Hey. Come to Papa now. What? What's he reacting to? <sighs> well, they're all highly nervous. This leaves me somewhat trapped, actually. Don't know if I'll be able to get up there without making a lot of noise. Let's a try. Now oh, you show me. Well, I guess I don't go that way. Uh, if I can go unseen by the police, well, I guess I have not gone unseen by the police. Well, I didn't go unseen even as I escaped. So he was quite on edge. I was barely visible on standing on the desk, but uh, it was enough. Right, so this way should lead to records and things, but I guess I can't go that way. good out of going there without my equipment. I can't go that way either, alright. Um, let's try going out here. Hello. Just realised there's a uh, climb up here. Okay, it doesn't doesn't nothing of uh, of use for me up here. But if there were guards patrolling, it would be a good way to avoid them. This guy just left the area. Further report on the cloud case: Cloud's forged bonds have been traced back to Warden Raputo. Apparently, they had a nice little scam set up. Raputo would supply the bonds, and Cloud would give him the ivory rose. It figures Cloud would give it away by leaving the city immediately after cashing the bonds in. First City Bank and Trust is now claiming that Raputo has made similar deals in the past, though none so big as this. I sent around some of our men with the usual request, but they were turned away by Raputo's guards. What, is he too virtuous to give bribes now? I hate to say it, but the office that FCBT is making are seeming more and more attractive. This city would be better off without wardens. Actual loot. Officers Ricard and Stephen, with backup nearby, stopped the suspect as he returned to his ship. The suspect showed signs of being uncooperative and attacked the officers when they tried to arrest him. Ricard and Stephen are still in the hospital, so the story is not clear. The suspect was then taken out with gas arrows as he tried to return to his ship. 
Officers Benny and Shane, under the supervision of Lieutenant Hagen, then tried to search the ship. Several unusual items, possibly contraband, were found on the deck. However, Officers Benny and Shane ran from the ship after a few minutes below deck, claiming to have seen ghosts. They will try again in a few days once holy water supplies are replenished. Officers are currently keeping watch over the ship until space has been cleared for its impounding. Report on criminal activity among the homeless, part 4, the Bandidos. The Bandidos, sick, are a well-organized gang operating under the leadership of several ex-Hammerite engineers. These apostates took advantage of the declining power of the Hammerite religion by seeking refuge in the recently abandoned Hammer Rail Network. Along with numerous pagans, street people, and other undesirables, they have since been able to resume Hammer Rail operations, and have used the Hammer Rail Network for various criminal ends. Although in operation for only a few months, the stations occupied by the Bandidos have the potential to become major centres of criminal activity. The Hammer Rail Network seems to now be used for the anonymous transport of both people and contraband. A portion of the necessary coal and wood is supplied by standard city channels, but the Bandidos also seem to have other suppliers. The Wardens, maybe. All attempts to arrest members of the Bandidos have been hampered by the ability of the Bandidos to quickly depart by a train, possibly with the help of neighbourhood informants. As of this time, no real effort has been made to sabotage the Hammer Rail network, occupy individual stations, or destroy the Bandidos as a group. However, should that become necessary, one of the most vulnerable stations is near Shoalsgate and thus open to quick attack. And I think that's open to me to depart the fire. Yes, I think I just got a note. The Bandidos. I am very familiar with the great and powerful Order of the Hammer, but I am shocked to see that their supposed homeland is in such disarray and their ranks so weakened. The Bandidos seem to be one symptom of this decline, a group comprised of fallen members of the Order mixed with criminals. Still, I have a great desire to see this Hammer Rail system first hand. This will be an old flyer for the Hammer Rail Network, showing a partial map of the city with station locations, as well as a list of tourist locations near the stations, such as Old Quarter, the City Gardens, and the Circle. And our friend is finally coming back here. So I'll have to be a little more careful now. Well, it's been long enough, it's probably not too twitchy. So where does he patrol? Okay, he's going away. Now, Thief 2, one of these, I believe, concealed the lever to a secret. Not, not apparently now. Map acquired. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're just at uh, Shulskit. In the southwestern quarter, and the train station is in the northeastern quarter. Right, so we go north till we get point A, which takes us here. And then we can go east to B to get to the train station. Alright, there seems to be a whole city outside there that we'll have to deal with. Alright, we got it. ourselves a map. Good, good. Is that our friend coming back again? I thought he going to walk around in my face again like uh, the other guy did. And here I'd be stuck in a dead end with no escape route. I wonder if I could climb up on... Still the vents. Without any kind of... Ropey equipment. Oh, let's just move. Alright, I think it's time to go out in the yard. They blew a hole out here. Although, hmm. Just 
take one of these with me. You never, never know when it could be useful, right? All right, those spotlights are uh, probably going to be a problem. Oh, they're still hunting out there. I guess that is probably then not not in relation to me. A water crystal. I'm just going to quick save. How does this work? I guess I need a bow and then it'll just work as a water arrow. But without my equipment, it's no good. Right. These, uh. You've got a bow. Could I have it, please? No? Are these spotlights predictable or are they random? How did he? Where the hell did he react to? Are they just incredibly twitchy to the sound of footsteps? Yeah, shut up. Right, the spotlights do seem predictable, but the gaps are not obvious. Don't come here, man. Don't come here. I said. Thank you. Yeah. Come on up then. Or maybe they're just generally searching the whole yard. Try and get to this corner, it's probably safer. I say probably safer, but of course we've got somebody walking this way too. Oh, that's where they blew a hole in the wall. All right, so this is probably where they're keeping my equipment. Where's my keys? Where's my keys? Well, some equipment. Oh, maybe it wasn't even locked. This light gem glowing still makes me think I'm brightly, highly visible. It's very, very distracting. It's uh, not to sound like, well, like a barbed wire all over the walls. Okay, so that could, could be a way out. But, uh, There's a thief here in the uh, station or not? I don't know. Is that just generally such a. That's not. Oh, they're. Uh, he's, okay, he's not coming this way. I wonder if my barrel friend here will, uh, whoops, careful, don't stand in the light. Help me get through that, uh, gap. that 
So I'm waiting for them to calm down a bit. It's a very, very good use of uh, dynamic lights there, those spotlights. It's, um... Although, interestingly, it doesn't look exactly like the... I thought the dynamic lights didn't have such a soft fall off. Maybe they do in New Dark. That would be wild if that was a whole lot of individual animated lights being turned on and off. But, uh... Guards! Guards! Oh, I got my bow. I got my bow. Did I? Uh, apparently, taking the bow broke my equipment entirely. Um, hmm, hmm. That's oops. That's quite possibly a problem. I can't even get my compass out anymore. All right, I'm just gonna save here and uh, reload the quick save. Yeah, it happens again. All right, uh, hold on a second. All right, let's not try and grab the bow then, I guess. So this is I've just thrown the barrel, and they're both still hunting for the sauce explosion. So both be very twitchy. How did you see me? I mean, I know you can see me now. It's keeping me underwater. Escaped successfully. New objectives. No new objectives. There appeared to be a flash of cutscene. Over the top as I came out there, but I don't know. Maybe there is supposed to be cuts in there. Maybe there oh, look, a body has washed downstream and got caught. Because that explains why they got all these grates everywhere to catch, to catch the stuff. Well, I was hoping that in the moat here there would be some, uh, some more water arrows, but apparently not. All right, well we've got a whole city now. Actually, check the map. Wait, what? Did I not have the map in this quick save? It says I should have the map. But it doesn't let me see the map. Okay, well. 
Let's uh, as I said, it's an unfinished mission. It's got bugs. Gasoline. It's very modern. The mechanist security is not working yet. Maybe I'd better not risk it, although. Yeah, this turret's deactivated. The watcher is just sitting on the pallet waiting to be set up, right? Haha, <laughs> you don't scare me. I mean, you do, but I'm going to pretend you don't. Anything in this moat? I don't know why I'm looking for water arrows when at the moment I don't have any way of firing them, but, you know. Well, we successfully escaped. Oh, careful now. Street names. New Smithers and Dante Street. Alright. Let's do another proper save. Probably need to do more than usual because who knows what else will break. Officer, what is going on out here? I have troops on my doorstep. I am sorry, ma'am, but we have an escaped convict. We're trying to hunt him down. Please stay indoors. It's for your own safety. But I promised my sister I'd visit her tonight. Right now the streets are off limits to all civilians. Ma'am, anyone found outside will be subject to seizure. I'm sorry, but it's for your own good. Carrot spread. Did she just go outside again? Let's hope she doesn't come in here. Nothing in the cupboards, okay. Just hanging out by the front door. Oh, there's a light switch that I had not noticed. I think she's coming back in. Coming back up here, probably. The lights which just don't seem to work. Dear diary, I'm going to see my sister tonight. I haven't been to her since her husband left to join the mechanists. I know how hard things like that can be, but at least she didn't have any children to take care of. I've got my case packed and I can get in even if she's not around. I hear that the Ivory Rose has been making her stay late now that most of the staff has been fired. Strange things have been going on around here, so I should feel safer once I'm with my sister in Hightown. The police have been forcing the homeless off the streets here. I heard some have even been killed. 
Just a moment ago, I saw someone in black rushing off to the north. Maybe he was one of the hobos that sleep around the construction site. A group of policemen went running the same way, and now they're all over the place. I'd better get going too, before it's too late. Oh, there's a back door. That's convenient. That's just the way of the front door. I mean, I can come in this yard, but is there any reason to? <gasps> Apart from maybe getting almost getting stuck. Ah, oh, they're hunting. For me. Oh god, some of the Latins. And I am completely defenseless here. Wow, there's a lot of them. I'm wondering if maybe that's not the safest way to go. Is there, is there any way, other way I could go from here? Oop. Hey, ma'am. Don't mind me. Oh, this is the same place. Oh, he saw me. He's also stuck. She doesn't seem bothered. She seems quite frozen. Definitely some AI bugs. Not all to my disadvantage. Now we have an upper floor. Ladder, indeed. Not just a lift. If I had my map, it would be quite useful because I am a little bit lost. I do have my compass, I guess. I, I do remember that I wanted to go north. Generally speaking, and then east. Oh, that wasn't a very long diversion then. Well, let's leave those police behind. I do need to find this thief, but I don't know who it is. So. Like some coppers there. Can I pick this lock with my wooden spoon? Nope. Don't suppose the officer key will work either. Oh, hello. Maybe they keep the key under the doormat. How cunning. A 
Oh, that light switch does work. Okay. Alright, back door. Let's check upstairs first. Well, yeah, some little bit of money and valuables never went astray too much. Oh, this is good. This gives me up above the streets. Curiously so. And highly visible. Yes. Alright, less visible here. Still precarious. Hmm. Although if I'm up here, of course, I can't get into buildings like uh, that one there. It seems probable that, that guard by the gate will see me if I try to leap this gap, but I'm going to attempt it anyway. And uh, this guy saw me. Yeah, you are. And now he's given it, now he's lost me. Yeah, why? Do you want to go back there? Yeah, dead end. And there's a little, uh... Well, it's too high for me to mantle anyway. Whoops. Oh well that I guess it's just flooded, not actually deep water. Fine. Got a whole bunch of crates I could do some uh, creative stacking with. Or I could take a ladder. Call me lazy, but uh, I'm taking the ladder. Guys, come try and catch me up here. Did you see me through the walls or what? Or was he reacting to the sound? I don't know. Don't come all the way up here, mate. If you come into this corner, I swear I will scream. Hmm. Not very. 
very dark in those streets. If he turns around, I'm going to be in trouble. Oh, there's dark toys, at least. Just keep on walking. You're not not too close. That's all right. Yep, yep. You just go that way. Oh. More guards just waiting for me. So that's that's east. We come north through the construction site. I guess east is where we need to go now to the train station. Although we came, no, we came east through the construction site, so I guess we keep going east, and then the train station will be a little bit north. Just waiting for this fella to come back to head back towards the construction site, so I can go around to the left. All right, now I'm waiting for this guy too. Who is going where I want to go and make himself a major nuisance. Ah. Wow. Now what? Oh, that light does go on and off. Alright, okay, I was going to try and go behind the guy, but I think the light flickering is an easier path through there. I wonder what got up on this wall. didn't work quite the way I planned. For sale, one jeweled sword, three bags of spice and various items of gold jewelry. Contact the banditos for more information. Show them just how well Bant does in fights. But don't worry, we've got the cargo train. Remember, go switch the rails a while back so that our men could bring it up from storage. Soon it will be fueled and ready to go. I forgot about that one. Well, I'm going downstairs to look for it. Yeah, if the blue coat's coming here. <clears throat> All right. Well, that says new objectives, but I don't seem to have any new objectives. Don't have any new notes. No. So I think some of the scripting is broken, but clearly, having found my equipment, which I guess I'm supposed to have found already. I don't know. I don't know if I've just missed something or if I'm going to find it here. 
These banditos seem to have taken over the station. Doesn't seem very safe for me here. Hello, what's that, what's that say? Did you see what isn't grim posted downstairs? It's unbelievable. A number of us are meeting tonight in the upstairs storage room. We'll think of something to do about the situation. Nice, you can peek through the cracks. I can try. How would I get upstairs? Oh, there's a big hole in the roof. What? Nothing. Nothing. What was that? Also nothing. I think that's somebody coming down the stairs. Yes. You know what? I should try to steal his bow. Somebody else coming downstairs who walks a bit faster. Okay, so there's another train. Uh, judging from the conversation I heard, there's another train. They have a spare, but it needs to be fueled up. So I guess let's let's do another save just there. Hey, did you notice that? I don't think I'm going to be able to get past them. Can I steal your bow, good sir? No, I can't. Oh, this place is really falling to bits. follow those guys but I don't see that there's any place for me to hide if one of them suddenly comes out of that door so I'm just kind of waiting until they head downstairs again. Down position leads to old quarter station. Switch to the up position to access fuel storage. Down position leads to high town station. Switch to the up position to access train storage. And a flash bomb, alright. Health regulations of the hammer rail system. All hammer rail trains must be fitted with an automatic braking system to prevent untoward loss of hammerite machinery. The side vents may no longer be used to release excess steam while the train is in the station. Passengers riding on the top and sides of the train are no longer allowed to move about during transit. All hammer rail tunnels are to have ventilation shafts to allow the coal smoke to escape to the surface. Any person who can demonstrate health problems as a result of the smoke release will be offered a job with the hammer rail system as compensation. In the event of coal smoke filling parts of the hammer rail stations, all customers will be allowed to lay on the floor to aid their breathing. Oh no no no. Not have lights. 
switch appears to be jammed. Hmm. So one of these guys is gonna be coming down here in any second now. Yeah, what did I say? Any second now. Well, lucky for me, they had a flash bomb there, huh? What have we got here? Thank you for informing me of the situation. Now the banditos will not be subject to any warden. I did approve of Zengrim's role as our emissary, but he should have understood that no one may make promises for the banditos, especially not the kind of promises you're talking about. The banditos at Hightown Station will support you in whatever action you take against Isengrim. Okay, this is just the guy who's patrols. Who goes very silent. I might wait for him to come back. The angry guy is probably not going to come in here. Double doors are quite inconvenient. Alright, we've got an air crystal, but I have no bow, so I have no use for any of these crystals right now. Oh, let's use you instead of throwing you away. Bunch of crates. Oh, hello, somebody's dead. Is that Mr. Isengrim or what? It's Mr. Corpse. He seems to have nothing else of value on him. I guess I need to go downstairs and up here is kind of... Not being very helpful. Oh shit, they saw me? You won't stay hidden for long, Tapper. Oh shit, they saw me. And they're kinda of broken. This is probably going to kill me. Oh, she's got the crown. Yeah, it does look like that because I can't seem to mantle up there to get out. Alright, I can. It's an archer. Come on, hey, who are you? Get him. Get him. All right, frantic escape. Bring all you can, Tapper. You're ours now. You can't get on a train. Is 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 that your problem? Well, what do I have to influence you? No more flash bombs. Crystals are no use to me without my arrow, without my bow. I can't 
make this train move. I'm just trying to block vision so you give up and start searching. Good. Good, that was, that was all I needed to do. <laughs> so now I just sit and wait for them all to calm down. So, uh, you know, they kind of know I'm here, kind of. Well, they're going to take a while to calm down there. I'm going to count to three, so you better... Oh, wow, that guy's got a sword and a dagger. Alright, they're slowly starting to calm down. They'll be on edge for a bit, so it's not safe. Not very safe for me to move. I was just running away up there. But uh, I could probably make another. I'd say even. Quick save and try and. Oh. There's a guy out there. What does it say? By order of Isengrim, the Banditos are now under the official protection of Warden Nightfall. All agents of the Warden are to be given unrestricted access to the Hammerial Network, and the operation of all stations, beginning with Hightown, will be transferred to Nightfall's engineers. Warden Nightfall will give food and lodging to whomever requests it, and he assures us that the Banditos will find a secure place in his service. The Banditos do not sell their loyalty. Well, I'm up here to get stuck here. That's not good. There's something broken about this train. Uh, right. Who knows? I'll put that light out if I could. You know you can't hide forever. So I've got a speed potion. They're gonna see me here, aren't they? Yeah, he's seen me already. Oh, there's a book to read. Diary of Isengrim, Hammerite Engineer. Well, I guess I won't be using that title anymore. We've already lost many of our best engineers to the Mechanist Heresy, and now that those remain on the Hammerail project, are being shifted to prison duty. The hammer rail could have revolutionized commerce in the city. Now the stations will just be more abandoned catacombs. I'm back in my old seminary lodgings for a while. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I'm back in my old seminary lodgings for a while. The spice I still have is all that keeps me from killing myself over the drudgery the High Priest put us through. I've heard that Engineer Renard and a few others are planning to abandon the Hammerite Order for good, but not to join the Mechanists. I wonder what they're planning. Engineer Renard, R Renard has contacted me. He and some others want to reoccupy several of the Hammer Rail stations. We have the keys to the stations, the trains should all be still in good condition, and some fuel will still be there. 
I think I'll join him. Bill will forgive me, but I would rather tinker in heresy than let my skills decay in orthodoxy. I've been charged with the restoration of the Shalebridge station. The homeless who have occupied that station have agreed to help us. Renard sure is getting some odd ideas in his head, allying us with people like that. Builder, it's been a long time since I last chronicled my doings. Subsisting on rat meat and stolen bread for so long has nearly killed me, but now that the trains are running again, we're getting some gold. Aiding criminal activity no longer bothers me, but I don't think we can survive long enough to build any real future. The Hammerites or Black Coasts could easily destroy us if they decided to. The Bandidos, a strange name for us, though I've grown to like it, need to acquire some stronger allies. Maybe the Mechanists would protect us. One of the Wardens, Master Nightfall, has requested an emissary from our group. All I know about this man is that he sends his agents by hammer ale every now and then. Perhaps he would make a good ally. Builder knows no one else has treated us with such respect. None of the others seem willing to act as emissary, so I guess I'll volunteer. As the engineer for Shalebridge Station, I have the proper authority. Warden Nightfall is a god among men. Every day his men feast like Hammerite priests before a fast. I myself ate more than I get in an entire week down here. As a token of his goodwill, Nightfall has given me a jeweled sword and gold jewellery along with some spice. He made his reasons for meeting me quite clear, and I saw no reason not to offer him what he obviously wanted. I'm sure Renard and the rest will back me up once they've sat at Nightfall's table. Well, hmm... <clears throat> Oh, you saw me. I am in a bit of a pickle here. The, uh... Oh, I did get this. I must use the hammer rail to pursue this agent of the circle without my equipment. Okay, so I do need to fuel the thing up. Which means I do need to find my equipment. I was thinking the objectives weren't working properly. I just guess I must have not noticed that one pop up. But... But... I must find my equipment. Oh, wait. I must use the hammer rail to see the edge of the circle who has my equipment. Alright. So... This is, this is going to be a problem. I think I need to go back to the control box. And... Uh, They're all after me. Ouch. Probably need to get back to the control box. See if eating anything will heal me at all. Barely. Get back to the control box and uh, press the lever the other way? Or something? Didn't seem to do anything, but it also is. doesn't. doesn't seem to connect to here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this might take a little longer than I uh, anticipated. I thought I was just about near the end, but no, they haven't fueled this thing up yet. You won't stay hidden for long, Tapper. I guess maybe that's the fuel gauge. Or is that a pressure gauge? I don't know, I don't know machinery. It's all hammerite nonsense. I need to get back upstairs and look at these guys hunting around. They're, if I just try and make a run for it, they will see me. I really need to wait for two of them to go back upstairs and the other one to head back through that way. And then, then if the unarmed one sees me, I'm not too bothered. If only I could use this air crystal to gas them all. Or the fire crystals to explode them all. Well, I guess I could use the speed potion to run past them, but it seems it seems possibly uh, unwise to waste it too soon. All right, they're they're returning to their patrols at last.
Here's your army again. Hopefully. Oh dang. Alright, so uh, let's load back an earlier save. I think this one I was under the stairs. Which was the what's the next one? Uh, that's that's where I was waiting for them all. Alright, let's go back to the under the stairs because if I remember correctly. Hey, who are you? Oh shit. That's it. That's it. Death, you know. Yeah, alright, alright, let's try that again. So there were the switches at the control box, so let's Something there? Always a little tired now. Can't remember what happened. It's always Dark. nice. It's never anything always. exciting. Down there was the control levers, okay. This would be so much easier if I could knock these people out, but you know. It is not to be. Something appeared in front of my face, oddly. Right, so here's the... I must use the hammer rail, I guess. Um, down to Hightown Station, up to access train storage. And there's a flash bomb again. Okay. Uh, what are the notes that it's trying to give me? I don't know. And I read that. Oh, there's a healing potion. Okay, I missed that last time. So, if I just quickly save. Can't, as far as I can see, that switch is not doing anything. And that one's jammed. I don't remember which way I had it last time. Maybe I should leave it up for train storage. Maybe it doesn't matter at all. Maybe that's what I need to do to make the trains run. I don't know. I do know we've got a fellow up there who will not be happy to see me. There he is. Let's. Oh, he's fast. What was that? Oh, you got trouble now. Yeah, that wasn't good. Come out, come out, wherever you are. found out. Hey. Well, I think. Look what we've got here. I think we're doing uh, all this again. But now it's no longer dark here because I've turned the switch on. Turn the switch on, but I can't make the thing move. All right. Um, I feel like I'm at a loss. I feel like I'm definitely hitting... Uh, problems that it should be able to complete the mission at this point maybe I missed something there's definitely scripting isn't working You've made enemies, Taffer. 
I know I've made enemies. Lots of them. I can see them all. Don't have anything to throw at them. Somehow there'll be a way to get this train working. I don't know whether I'm missing some scripting or what, but uh, there's a light on in here now, so clearly uh, that would, was, was supposed to be relevant. But what else is relevant? I don't know. So I'm just going to mission skip to the end now. Uh, see what happens next. Maybe I missed something important. I'm really not sure. Uh, I did miss a whole ton of loot, so uh, and a whole ton of secrets. Although possibly, well, I guess secrets should have been marked. All right, I guess that's switching rails. For some reason I thought there was two missions in this. Um, well, thanks very much for watching, and I hope you'll join me next time for the next episode. Oh, sorry, the next mission I played, which will be uh, something less in a uh, beta stage or alpha stage than this. See you next time.